Hey guys, Jamin here with PC Monkey, bringing you a uh, do-it-yourself computer video today. We're working on an Acer Aspire 3. Uh, the actual model is A315-21 series, uh, but it's an Acer Aspire 3. We're going to show you how to get in here and swap out your battery, uh, and then in the second half of the video, we'll show you your motherboard. Uh, we figured we'd do both because if you notice, this computer does not have an external battery. It's not one you can just slide out, so you have to open up the computer, get inside, uh, so we may as well show you how to access your battery and your motherboard. Um, so first thing you want to do, flip your computer over. Uh, it's good to have an anti-static pad like this is on. Um, it stops some static electricity from getting into your computer. It can harm it, so it's good to have that. Uh, so now we'll try getting in here. First thing you want to do is take off your any access ports. If you're on this video to learn how to access your motherboard and you have an external battery, then that would be the first thing you would do, is you would slide the battery out and remove it. Uh, but in this Acer Aspire 3, it's an internal battery, so we'll show you how to access that. So this was kind of easy. It had one screw per, per door, so we'll take that door off. Take this door off. All right. Now I'm gonna take out my hard drive, um, just because it's kind of easily accessible there and it's plugged in that way. I just like getting it out of there to get it out of the way. Um, pop that up, unplug it, all right. All right, now I just go around, take out all the screws. I, I, I have a large, a large number of screws in this computer. I, I don't know what exact model Acer Aspire 3 you have, but there's a lot of screws in here, so I'll go around, take them all out to get at the computer. Once we're in there, this battery is kind of easy to to get at, so we'll do that right away and then we'll show you how to get at the motherboard. If you do have any comments or questions, if you get stuck, leave them in the description. Uh, we try to answer those questions at least a couple times a day. Uh, when we're working in the shop, we <laughs> tend to answer them a little more frequently, uh, but we at least try to get to your questions a couple times a day. We can help you out with issues you're facing. We can direct you to other videos if you're on the wrong one. Uh, but we, uh, we don't mind helping you out with what you're dealing with. Okay, so there's two more. Oh, there's another screw right here in the hard drive area. All right, so uh, make sure you do get all of your screws um, Quite possibly you can muscle this off without getting all the screws, um, but you're going to break it. So just double check, you, you get all the screws. Um, if you feel resistance, stop and, and recheck. Um, I have my little small metal pry tool now. I'm going to pry up this panel. Just put it in between the panel and the, and the palm rest. Oop. Okay, that came off reasonably easily because I've already been in here, but yours may give you a little more problems. So there's your battery. Zoom in a little bit pretty easy to take off. Uh, the only two screws holding it down were um, part of your bottom case screws. Uh, so those can come right out. Um, and you unplug the battery right here. I'll show you the port. This is a common looking battery port. Um, this just slides out. You'll see there's two actual little white handles on either side of, of the port. Resist the urge to take the battery and yank. Um, oftentimes the cords are not held onto the port very securely. So very often if you just pull this, the cords will come right out of the port and the port will stay plugged in. Um, and then you've broken it. So take your fingernails, what I do, and I just grab each, each handle and pull that right out. And there's your battery. So that's how you would remove your battery. Uh, if, if you're replacing this, put the new one in, get it nestled down, plug it in, put those screws in, uh, you're all set. So that's how you would access your battery, uh, replace your battery. Here, here's your motherboard. I'll zoom out a little bit now. Let me move the camera over here a little bit. Okay, so there's your motherboard. It's not very big, it's pretty easily manageable. You've got quite a few things plugged into it. Uh, one of the first things that I always take off when getting at your motherboard is your heat sink assembly. Heat sink assembly, I'm sorry. So I'll unscrew your heat sink. A good idea too, um, I go into computers a lot, so I, I, I kind of understand the orientation, I kind of know my way around. If you do not, uh, take a picture of this with your smartphone. 
uh, so that you can see where everything's plugged in, where everything should go, and you can reference that when you're going backwards um, to reinstall it. Um, or you can just keep watching the video if you have this exact model and, and, and it'll plug everything back in. So your heat sink assembly comes off fairly easily. There it is. Take out the fan. You don't have to all the time, but oftentimes the fan is uh, screwed into the motherboard or it's holding it down. So very often you'll have to remove the fan. Also these little stickers there. I like taking those off and saving them. Um, they're there for a reason, so try not to throw them away, try to save them. So there's your fan. As you can see, your fan is plugged in right here. So we're going to do the same way. We're just going to pull out from each end like that, slide it right out. There you go. There's your fan. Uh, right here, the cord's coming in there. Again, slide it out, just like that. Uh, your Wi-Fi cables, the black and white cables are usually Wi-Fi. Just unplug those fairly easy, right like that. Um, if you want to unscrew this, you, you can take out your Wi-Fi card, but it doesn't look like it's holding the motherboard down, so we'll leave it in. Uh, your touchpad cable. Now this has a similar kind of port. This ribbon cable plugs in here, and the way to release it is to take this tab and pull out, this tab and pull out. Make sure that they're both out, and then you can slide it right out like that. Uh, these ribbon cables are held in a different way. This is a little uh, plastic clip. These are very breakable though. Now, the way they work is they fold down to secure the ribbon cable, and then they snap up to release it. So in order to get the ribbon cable out, you just pop that tab up, slide the ribbon cable out, and I always pop them back down after. They're very breakable, and if you break that off, there's no way to secure this ribbon cable and, and it'll fall out. Um, and these are very hard to come by to replace. And even if you find one, they're very hard to install without breaking the one you just bought. So be very careful with those. Same thing with this one. Pop it up, slide it out, put it back down. Uh, and we got another connector here, same as the original one. So we're just going to pull it out with our fingernails on either side. There we go. That's unplugged. Uh, and it looks like everything's unplugged. If you're looking for your CMOS battery, there it is. Little odd and end. Uh, oh, L L LCD cable over here, last but not least. Pop that up. Slide it out. Pop it down. Now we're just going to go around and collect the screws that are holding your motherboard in. There's one there. There's one over here. Here's a weird random screw here. Kind of an odd spot for it. Alright, that should be all of our screws. Let's see if this thing comes up. Hmm, it's being held down by this. Go figure. Maybe that needs to come out a different way. Okay, so this is a little nut here that's holding it down. Interesting. You don't see that very often. Okay, so on top of that large screw, you had a nut. Weird. So there's your motherboard right there. And there's your RAM, your Wi-Fi card, your CMOS battery. Uh, there's your motherboard. So that's how you would access and replace your motherboard. Um, when you're putting the new one in, be careful to... Um, I always put these ports in first. Make sure those are nestled where they should go. Then as you're putting it down, make sure to get all the ribbon cables up. You don't want to pinch anything down under it. Make sure everything's on top. Antennas, okay, so that's pretty secure. Okay, now before I screw it down, I tend to make sure to plug everything in. You don't want to screw it down and then realize you pinched something. So I'm just going to put my LCD cable back in. Now a lot of these, I can get these in fairly easily because I do this a lot. It may take you a few tries. Just pop those tabs back up carefully and then get this slided in there. Um, don't force it again because this is breakable. You can definitely knock that off and break it. But get it in there. Make sure that it's flush. Usually they'll have these little white lines. I don't know if you can see that. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. Yeah, you can see that. So these little white lines, that'll help guide you to make sure that, that you're flush in there. So get those cables in. Get it flush. Seal it down. Uh, this one was the one we pulled out. Remember? So we'll pull those out. Slide this in. 
that's kind of a pain though because you got to slide it in while pulling it out so we got it in there and then now we're going to secure it by pinching those shut and there we go uh, this one was just a slide in so we'll just pull that back out slide it in that way same thing here pop the it up slide the cable in secure it this one just slid in slide that back in uh, the Wi-Fi cables are here. Now these go on a little tricky. Um, well, not tricky, they're just kind of a pain. Got my little flathead screwdriver I use. So I get, I hold it right, it, it, it's like a snap, like on a jacket. So you put it above it, try to center it, and then push it down to snap it. There you go, that one snapped in. There you go. Those can be kind of a pain. Uh, what else do we got? Looks like that's everything. Just double check everything's plugged in. Wi-Fi card's still in there. This is still in there. Okay, we're good. So now I'm just going to go back and uh, screw in my motherboard with this weird screw here. What a pain. All right, tighten that up. Okay, now we'll screw it back in. Right here. Right here. And one on top of this. So weird. I'm not quite sure why that's such a weird screw. And then now we'll put our fan back in. Slide that nice and secure where it was. Put the fan down there. And again, if your model didn't look exactly like this, you should have taken a picture with your uh, smartphone to make sure you get everything exactly back the way that it was. Because the worst thing in the world is shutting this computer up and then realizing that you left something unplugged, like your touchpad doesn't work, or keyboard doesn't work. Okay, so we're all shut up. Last thing you do in a computer pair is put your battery back in. You want to keep your battery out as long as possible. Uh, you don't want to... Um, you don't want power running through it any more than you have to. Slide that in there. There you go. All right. And then you would replace these battery screws. For some reason, I don't have any in this computer. The battery is just loose. I'll fix that after the video is done. And then you pop this back on, replace all of your screws. And that's how you would uh, access and replace your motherboard. Uh, please like and share if this was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, again, leave them below. We'll get back to you at least a couple times a day. And if you enjoyed do-it-yourself computer repair, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.